Hi, Champion Summary Review here. Watch out and take care. Today we will be sharing an American post apocalyptic horror thriller film named Bird Box. In a post apocalyptic world, Mallory Hayes informs two young children that they will go down a river in a rowboat. She sternly instructs them not to remove their blindfolds no matter what h a p p e n or they will die. She promises she will hurt them if they disobey her instruction. Five years earlier, a pregnant Mallory is visited by her sister, Jessica. A news report on TV about unexplained mass suicides spreading across Europe and Asia. After a prenatal checkup, Mallory witnesses a woman smashing her head repeatedly into the hospital window. Others start behaving suicidally as well, causing panic and chaos. Afterward, Mallory hurries to leave the scene with Jessica. While steering away from the hospital, Jessica sees something inexplicable that drives her insane and deliberately crashes her car. She then walks in front of a speeding truck, killing herself. As Mallory flees on foot, a woman invites her into a house for safety. The woman then sees the entity before going into a trance and sitting inside a burning car. A passerby, Tom, picks up Mallory from the street into the house, where six other people are taking shelter. One survivor, Charlie, says that humanity has been judged, and the appearance of demonic entities is the sign of endgame. He also mentions that those spiritual beings have different names in various cultures, such as aka Mana, Surgat, Huli Jing, and Puka. Greg, the house's owner, commits suicide after volunteering to test if it is safe to observe them indirectly through surveillance cameras. A new pregnant survivor, Olympia, arrives. Half of the group goes to the grocery store Charlie worked at to restock their dwindling food. They drive there in a blacked out car using GPS navigation system. Mallory gets three pet birds along with their supplies and she notices the entity's presence agitates the birds. Later, Charlie's co worker attacks the group, forcing them to look at the creatures. However, Charlie sacrifices himself to save the others. They make it back to the house. Sometime after, Felix and Lucy steal the car and drive away. Olympia lets a stranger named Gary into the house against Douglas's wishes. Cheryl knocks Douglas out, and the others lock him in the garage. As Olympia and Mallory go into labor simultaneously, Gary works on drawings of the creatures he has seen before. He knocks Tom unconscious and opens the garage door, exposing Douglas to the entities. Gary goes upstairs and rips all the windows' blinds. Olympia fails to look away, and after witnessing the creature, she dives out the window, killing herself. Mallory hides with both newborn babies under a cover while Gary forces Cheryl to look at the entities, causing her to stab herself in the neck with a pair of scissors. Douglas escapes the garage and blindly attempts to kill Gary with a shotgun, wounding him in the process, but Gary kills him with the scissors. Tom begins to recuperate shortly after, fighting Gary over the gun. After Mallory hears a few gunshots, Tom approaches her to say everything is fine. Back to present time, Tom and Mallory live together with the children, called boy and girl. They receive transmissions from survivors informing them of a safe community hidden in the forest, accessible only by boat along the river. As they leave their house, a group of unblindfolded survivors attacks them. Tom distracts the assailants so Mallory and the children can flee. He uncovers his eyes and shoots all the attackers, but after seeing the entities, he kills himself. Mallory and the children go blindfolded down the river on a boat, carrying the birds to warn them of the entities. They encounter several obstacles, including an unblindfolded survivor and river rapids. Soon after, the they reach shore, but they are separated when Mallory accidentally slides down a hill and fainted. The entities use Mallory's voice to trick the kids into taking off their blindfolds. Mallory regains consciousness and tells the children where to find her. They eventually reach the community, a former school for the blind. Mallory releases the birds and finally gives the children names, Tom and Olympia, admitting that she is their mother. We hope you enjoy this video summary. Do remember to subscribe. Thank you.